We have physical bodies, those are vehicles for us to inhabit. And we have traumas, we have injuries, we have emotional blockages. And all of that is organized as condensed energy in the body. In other words, your body is gravitationally organized energy, light and information, packaged in cellular form. And you got all this energy, all this vital life force sitting down there. And when you begin to disrupt it and you learn how to move it, it's like a champagne bottle. When it goes off, it's a moving freight train. And when that energy begins to erupt and the sympathetic nervous system releases it, it's going to move through different parts of your body and it's going to begin to break through certain restrictions. And when you start getting afraid of it and you start contracting, the contraction does what? Causes more impedance. And so then the body is trying to process information because all that energy is carrying information. And when it strikes your brain, flash the light and there you are on the ground and blah, 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 you know, and everybody's freaking out and you're thinking, wow, this is pretty cool. It feels pretty amazing. But it's an unknown and a lot of people get afraid of it. And I went through many, many years that sometimes I would just hear a song and I'd be like, oh no, it's going to happen. And it just wasn't appropriate at certain times. But you're doing it right. You're doing exactly what I want you to do. You, you got, a, you got a, a good release of energy going to your brain and your nervous system has to be able to process a very powerful frequency. And when that energy begins to move and it moves up into your brain and you start creating that field, your body's got to process that energy with the information. And as it does, a lot of times it just is trying to take it in. And your body's going through that whole process. The key is to surrender completely to it. Just relax into it and let it happen to you and it'll turn into something else. It just will. It did for me. But if you get afraid of it, and I did that too, like, oh, I was sitting in an audience, I'm sitting in a silent retreat with a thousand people. And I, all of a sudden, that energy started shaking loose and I thought, oh, this is not going to go well. And for a whole couple hours, I was working with holding it back. And the next thing you know, I just popped and fell on the ground and everybody was so mad at me. I got up and left, and then I sat up, and the air went again. Two hours later, I, my, I don't even yell like that. I don't even know what was coming out of my mouth. Wham, on the ground again. Three or four times, everybody left. And I kept like, like waking up with the grass in my face. <laughs> and I didn't know where I was, or who I was, or whatever. And then I, so they, they called it at the end. Just when the sun was going down, I opened my eyes, and there was this sweet elder woman sitting right across from me. Everybody else was gone. I lifted up my blindfold and she said, you had a good day, didn't you? <laughs> and it went on for months. And imagine all that life force moving into your brain and the arousal that's created from that energy. There's a moment of bliss that takes place when it intercourses your brain and you shouldn't be caught in the phenomenon. The phenomenon is the side effect. You should just keep unfolding it, keep doing that breath, and keep wanting it, and sit on the ground. And when I taught this breath in Costa Rica, the way I'm teaching it to you now, where you contract, some of you are still resisting. And in your innocence, and in your youth, and in your simplicity, you're, you know how to move energy. And when it starts to move and your body does what it does, the nervous system is processing a greater frequency. And we, we saw in our brain scans that when people relax into it, the brain goes into a very, very high state, a lot of microvolts of energy. And many times, the brain waves that are carrying that energy are delta. Deep sleep, a person is completely surrender and when that energy starts to move and they get up tight and they move into low level alpha or even mid-range alpha or they start to become aware and they move into theta the microvolts go down because they're resisting it 
Does that make sense? So when it happens, surrender. Surrender to it, and you're doing it exactly right. And you'll have that flash of light, you'll have the bliss, you'll have a deja vu, you'll have a mystical experience, and all of a sudden you just get up, laugh, shake it off, sit up and do it again. And I watched those people in Costa Rica. <laughs> There was a lot going on. Seventy people, I was running around picking people up. Not that you have to pass out. It's not necessary. You don't have to do that, so don't worry. But if it does happen, you're getting a big release, and it, your nervous system, once it opens up and those blockages and those channels begin to release, it'll flow very smoothly and very freely, and it'll get、uh, turn into something else. But right now, your body is processing that frequency and that energy, and of course, there's going to be some physical、uh, contractions, and that's just information. The body is trying to integrate, and then it makes sense that in schools of ancient wisdom. Perched up in the Himalayas, that when people showed up and they wanted to be initiated into the truth, that they had to do a lot of physical yoga to break the rigidity down in their bodies, so the path was open, and that they could sit for extended periods of time and not have their body preoccupying them. That they were now more physically capable. The connective tissue was more elastic, and the energy moved more freely. And so the blockages in that connective tissue. Nervous system kind of move energy in different directions. That that energy is going to finally make its way through, and you're going to get a biological upgrade.、It、happens all the time.